Today I am going to explain the film called The Kid Who Would Be King. Spoilers ahead, watch out and stay safe. The movie begins with a wizard named Merlin reciting King Arthur's story. Following the death of King Pendragon, Britain fell into war, with people battling for power. Seeing no end to the chaos, Merlin created Excalibur, a sword to find the person worthy of becoming king. Arthur, who is later discovered to be the king's long-lost son, drew the sword from the stone and rose to become a great king. This, however, did not please his evil half-sister Morgana who desired authority for herself so, her lust for power eventually drove her to use black magic. However, Arthur and his knights defeated Morgana and banished her to the underworld. Before being dragged into the underworld, she swore to return for the sword when the world would be at its worst. In the present day, 12-year-old Alexander is getting late for school because of which his mother is nagging at him. On the way to school, he receives a text from his friend Betters, who is being bullied at school by Lance and Kay. When Alex learns of this, he rushes to save his friend and instructs the two bullies to leave Betters alone. Lance then tries to scare Alex and warns him to stop pretending to be a hero before leaving the scene. However, as he walks away, Alex jumps on him and repeatedly hits him in front of the other kids. The following day, the two bullies chase Alex in order to finish the fight from the previous day. Being scared, Alex rushes away, trying to get away from them. However, his escape leads him to a construction site, where he is soon cornered by the bullies. As they approach Alex, he walks backward in fear, only to fall and become unconscious. The sight of an unconscious Alex frightens the two bullies, so they immediately flee from the scene. Soon after they leave, Alex wakes up and discovers a sword embedded in a stone. While exploring around the area, he eventually pulls it out and takes it back with him. Meanwhile, Morgana has awakened in the underworld. Sensing that the sword has been drawn out by the new king, she uses her dark magic to order vines to find out the person who now wields the sword. On his way home, Alex calls Betters over to show him the sword. After deciphering what is engraved on the sword, they realize it is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. They, however, do not take it seriously, and instead, Alex takes the sword and jokingly knights betters. Elsewhere, Merlin, who now resembles a young boy, senses that the sword has been discovered, and walks out into town in search of the person who now possesses the sword. He eventually finds his way to Alex's school, where he pretends to be a schoolboy in order to get closer to Alex. In the meantime, he hears from a teacher that an eclipse is approaching in four days, which drives him to panic. He later storms into the cafeteria to tell Alex that he knows he drew Excalibur out, and that Morgana will return when the eclipse occurs. However, this only causes other kids in the cafeteria to harass him and throw things at him. Later that night, Morgana sends a demon to kill Alex. After seeing the demon, Alex runs to find his mom, who is nowhere to be seen. Seeing no other option, he rushes to get Excalibur and tries to fight the demon, only for the demon to fling the sword away in seconds. Just when the demon is about to attack our new king, Merlin uses his power to destroy it. Following this, Merlin immediately leaves in his owl form since it is dangerous for him to be in the mortal realm after sunset. Before leaving, he hands Alex a fried chicken restaurant flyer and tells him to meet him there the next day. The next day, Alex and Betters visit the restaurant to find Merlin. Afterwards, Merlin explains to the boys how Morgana intends to return and enslave everyone. Additionally, he tells them that Morgana's demon will appear to steal the sword after sunset, and that during this time, all mortal souls other than Alex and his knights will disappear. Young Alex becomes terrified upon hearing all of this, and tells the wizard that he is only a 12-year-old boy, and cannot take the duty of saving everyone. When the boys try to leave, Merlin transforms into his older self, and shows them a vision of what would happen to Britain if Morgana were to succeed in obtaining the sword. As a result, Alex finally understands that he is the chosen one, and that the world needs saving. After this, the boys return to the construction site where Alex had found the sword. Surprisingly, Lance and Kay also show up there, and begin making fun of Alex while demanding the sword. As a response, Alex, however, goes and puts the sword back in the stone. Then, he tells the two bullies that if they are unable to pull it out, they must allow him to knight them. The two bullies agree to it since they believe it to be a joke, and that they will ultimately be the one to win in the bet. To their surprise, the pair fails to draw the sword, so Alex commands them to kneel before eventually knighting them. In the meantime, Morgana's demon rises from the ground and begins to attack them. Lance first takes Excalibur and tries to defend himself, but the demon takes no time to overpower him. Seeing this, Alex rushes over to help him and then they all run away in an attempt to escape from the monster. As they try to escape, they notice that there are no people in the streets, which perplexes Lance and Kay. Soon after that, they see three demons chasing them, so they steal a car to get away from them. Even though Kay hasn't actually learnt to drive, she takes the car and manages to hit 
and ultimately kill the demons off. As soon as the demons are killed, everyone reappears, causing a huge traffic jam and nearly causing an accident. Following this, the four proceed to Lance's house where Alex explains the entire situation to the two bullies. He then tells them that he seeks to locate his father in Tintagel in order to learn more about the location of the entrance to the underworld and how to kill Morgana. After trying his hardest, Alex eventually persuades the two of them to join him. After leaving a note for his mother, Alex, and the other three kids take a bus heading for Tintagel. On their way, Merlin appears out of the blue and takes them to a forest to teach them how to fight using his magic on some trees. However, Morgana quickly subdues the trees, and the trees begin assaulting the children. While they are fighting the trees, Lance seizes the opportunity to obtain Excalibur for himself, but the demonic roots soon begin to suck everyone including him into the ground. After hearing the children's screams for help, Merlin appears on the scene and quickly uses his magic to send the roots back to the ground. Using all of his strength, however, drains all of Merlin's vitality, so he flees in his owl form after reminding Alex that he must accomplish his duty. When Alex notices Lance has no guilt for what he has just done, he becomes enraged and accuses Lance of ruining everything and being a jerk. This leads to a fight between the two of them in a lake, which ends with Lance breaking Excalibur. As Lance and Kay walk away after apologizing for the broken sword, Alex recalls what was written about the Lady of the Lake in the book. With a bit of hope, he requests the Lady of the Lake to return the sword to him if she really exists. Surprisingly, it works, and a hand emerges from the lake carrying a repaired Excalibur. This makes them all pleased, and they promise to work together as one and never lie. As the sun sets, Morgana's demons appear to attack our heroes. The demons start chasing them till they reach the edge of the cliff. With no other option, Alex jumps off the cliff, and his friends hesitantly follow. As the demons jump, we see Alex and the kids hiding just below the cliff, revealing that they had not jumped into the sea. However, the demons fail to realize the trick, causing them to jump into the sea. After spending the night in an open fort, Alex goes off on his own to Tintagel to find his father. There, he meets his aunt, who tells him the truth about his father. He was not the good man his mother described him to be. He didn't care about his wife or son because he was an alcoholic. She also reveals that it was his mother who gave him the buck. Hearing all of this upsets him, and he returns to Betters feeling discouraged. Betters then attempts to cheer him up by using a trick he learned from Merlin, and convince him that he is not hopeless simply because his father is not a great man. Lance, Kay, and Merlin also soon show up to give Alex a confidence boost. Following this, they ride their horses until they reach the entrance to the underworld. As they make their way down there, they are attacked by Morgana's vines, which eventually entangle Alex's knights. While his friends are tangled in vines, Alex eventually comes face to face with Morgana. She then tries to persuade him saying that the world is a horrible place, and that the myths he believes are all lies. He, on the other hand, isn't bothered by any of this. This leads her to transform into a fearsome flying creature and begin attacking him with fire from her mouth. Soon after that, he deceives her by offering her Excalibur, when Morgana comes to get the sword, he instead stabs her. As soon as this happens, the building begins to collapse on itself, prompting the children to escape before becoming stuck. Believing that he has accomplished his mission of killing Morgana, Alex throws the sword to the Lady of the Lake and returns home with his friends. The battle preparations quickly begin, with Alex knighting all of them and Merlin and Betters duplicating armor and weaponry for the kids to use. Following this, they begin to create traps and other methods to battle the demons. Alex and his companions also teach the other children how to fight. Meanwhile, Merlin advises Alex that he must trap Morgana and kill her while he uses his magic to open a portal to trap her back in the underworld, ensuring she will never return. Moments later, the eclipse begins, followed by Morgan's demons rising from the ground. Some of the demons are killed by cars driven by Case and the other children. However, there are too many demons to stop. As the demons enter the school, they are ambushed by the students who have been waiting for them with their traps. As the students fight the demons, the entire school gets chaotic. However, Alex soon realizes that the demons are too many to be stopped, so he tells all of the children to go to the rooftop. Meanwhile, Morgana arrives in her demonic form and begins attacking the children with fire. Alex and the other kids manage to entangle her with ropes. As Merlin makes his way towards her in his owl form, Morgana blows fire at him, injuring him. Seeing this, Alex rushes to check on Merlin while the other kids hold the ropes that are entangling Morgana. He then gives the magic potion of liquefied nuggets, coke, and ice cream to revive him. Soon after that, Merlin, who has become stronger as a result of the potion, uses his power to open the portal. Following this, Alex manages to jump on Morgana and ultimately strikes her with Excalibur, ripping her head from her body. She is then pulled into the underworld in seconds, while the other demons vanish as the sun and other people return. 
Everything has finally returned to normal. As Merlin bids Alex and the other three kids goodbye, they question him if everything will be okay because the world is the same. In response, he reminds them that not every battle must be with demons, and that they do not require Excalibur for every fight. This teaches the children that they are the only ones who can bring about change in this chaotic world. The movie then ends with the Lady of the Lake pulling Excalibur into the water. Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.